Hey guys, it's Phoenix. It is August 1st, where I am. Probably still the 31st of July for you guys, but it is time for another monthly update, and it's probably going to be the second last monthly update for Pokemon Cobalt and Amethyst. I've been doing these updates uh, for about a year and a little bit, uh, every month, just informing you guys of what's happened, what's growing, what's updating in the map. And I feel like so much has changed about me and about my viewership and about everything in general that uh, is associated with this project. Um, it's always really nice to just look back at all the times that we've had together. Uh, but enough said, <laughs> welcome back to Pokemon Cobalt and Amethyst. It is August and we have Guillotine and Tarragon. And the best way to describe what's about to happen this month in PokeCA is that the legendaries are finally arriving to the map. I'm going to show you guys a short trailer at the very end. Very short clip, probably not really a trailer at all, it's more a teaser. But watch that to finally get the first glimpse at a legendary appearing in the map. Okay, let's do a quick rundown of what's happened. This is Chalet Town. Uh, this is something that we have completed uh, in July. So we have the gym right there. We have a move tutor right there. We have the Pokemon Center over there. So we continue our journey outside of Chalet Town into Route 22. We've got some tall grass. A lot of this work I actually did live. So um, had a lot of time to live stream uh, during the holidays. I've only just cut back on them. So I'm doing like one or two every week now, probably even less than two or even less than one per week. Uh, this is the entrance into Terra Lune Sea where you'll be surfing. But what I really want to show you guys is what I've done with this place. So, <laughs> Mew playing with a truck. What, probably somewhere but not visible. Okay, I guess this is, I didn't write this. I wrote this. So this is a glimpse of some post-game content. I'm not going to really delve into it or elaborate any longer. You guys can form your own theories. Uh, from that. Okay, so we have a bridge uh, that moves across and we have an item there and otherwise a pretty safe journey across, really quiet, nothing fancy, no trainers, uh, but the things get a little bit awkward and a little bit uncomfortable when you get into the lighthouse. But I think many of you will recognize this place. This is basically where we all started when you saw Professor Cedar get attacked during the TV broadcast. Uh, but we've returned, we've gone full circle, so we finally arrived where we all began. Okay, so I've skipped the entrance sequence because uh, I didn't really want to spoil that. But this is actually a dilapidated train, it's actually broken down. So what you need to do is enter through the train. I'm not going to show you guys that either, but that's the entrance into the secret base. Okay, I'm not going to go into the base because you guys have seen a video of that already. So what I'm going to do now is share with you the entire Terra Loon Sea trip. So you enter through here, and then we fly across, well, you surf, but we fly across, and I posted a lot of this on Twitter, but you, what you need to do is just make sure you explore as much as you can. Uh, there are some secret places here, uh, because it is a long surf uh, adventure, I feel like uh, adding a few bits and pieces of land and islands, uh, one trainer or two, some items uh, hidden around, uh, especially these little uh, structures, or apostles, um, make sure you explore all that uh, to get the best out of this experience because there is going to be there there aren't going to be any wild encounters while you surf I've mentioned this before uh, the reason is because we just really cannot uh, have the player return to the sea and right click into the boat immediately when they arrive um, when they come back from the battle arena that's my reason I apologize but hopefully you guys can get some uh, compensation by fishing uh, there's going to be quite a few encounters you can get when you fish. Okay, so we're right at Halfwind Island. Haven't worked on this yet. This is uh, August's work. Uh, we have some tall grass over there. I just added during a live stream. So have a look at this. We have a massive tree. In the center, we have Earthside Chamber, which glows in the dark, which I showed uh, during the live stream as well. There we go. It glows in the dark. It looks even better with shaders. In fact, let me just show you guys a Twitter image that I took. Brilliant glow-in-the-dark effect. So... We have Earthside Chamber and we have the Pokemon League just on the other side of this really strange uh, waterfall. Uh, I don't know how to fix this yet. Um, but you can see a bit of land just over there. That is the Pokemon League. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit more. There we go. So you can see a bit of an island now. That's the Pokemon League. It's a volcano. 
And other than that, we have Lazima City, which we'll do in September. So otherwise, that's pretty much going to round out this update. Uh, I've gone through a lot of it already, uh, but I just want to show you guys a little bit of a teaser right at the very end. Uh, and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more creative content. Please lay off asking those beta testing questions because that's going to be released uh, next month uh, when I actually get the map fully furnished. And otherwise, hope you guys enjoy this little teaser. Take care.